Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Nadia. If you're new to this channel then hello, welcome. I do hauls, makeup, drugstore, high end, all different kind of things. If you would like to subscribe would really appreciate it and if you hit the notification bell you'll actually get told apparently <laughs> when i bring a video out and also if you have any comments would love to hear them down below so as you saw at the beginning of this i i've been shopping basically and i decided that i was going to do a bit of online shopping and buy things that i need but don't really need so i'm going to start off with the unnecessary things i got i decided i was going to ikea um at when when it opened up about it was about three weeks ago and i need two more shelves for back there to put up there so i have actually been and got them now how long it takes me to put these up that's questionable that is really questionable but i find these ideal for my nail varnishes i find these ideal for you could put your foundations on them you could put palettes on them anything really in to do with makeup but it's also they're also really nice to put your pictures on so if you've got quite big pictures instead of hanging 15 holes in your wall you can hang pictures across there because that's that's generally what the purpose of this is i've got two more of them and that is my last nail varnishes that i'm allowing myself to have because i do have four up here two over there so there'll be another two here so it looks identical but i've also got the ones behind the door so what i'm going to do with these two is because they're double layered behind the door so there's like two lots i'm just transferring them over so i can actually see what i've got so for me i don't want to be buying nail varnishes i just want to be able to see my collection and that's what it's about seeing it and if i can see it i know what i want to use so that was the first thing that i got from ikea um i also bought my daughter the four cubes um and she wanted the two cubes one as well somebody had cleared cleared the things that i wanted went for it was empty it was like i know it's not been open but it was empty and i was like we were lucky enough to find them I wanted, um, it's called a Billy bookcase from my front room. No, I've tried ordering that online, they don't deliver it. They've got one in Scotland. I'm not in Scotland. I'm in Nottingham, so it's a bit like, mm, I don't think that's going to work. So I'll just wait till I get the bookshelf and finish my front room then because I read it all my front room and i've ordered the two cubes to go to b q which we've got to pick up i tried to order the billy bookcase and it sounds really strange when i say it the billy bookcase <laughs> but i tried to order it online and it's only 35 pound guys this bookcase and they want 89 pound for it to be delivered i'm like no no i don't care no one is charging it's more than the bookcase itself it's like who in the right mind okay the one that i brought from the small one the two one that I brought from my daughter was 349 delivery which i'm like well that's petrol money but no this they've just been a bit ridiculous the other things that I brought were candles and I'm a candle freak. I'm not a candle snob. I don't mind what candles I get or anything but I always get these ones. Um, I got two, two of these and I gave one as a 
moving in gift for my daughter. Um, she was moaning they didn't have anything. I was like, right, well, she can have one of these. It's not a lot, but the other bits that she's getting is more the moving in gift. But this was like, sorry, you can have one of your boxes, but this is to her. <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I'm just a nice mum. So I've got the apple scented one and I've got the raspberry scented ones what scented ones scented one and i've got this like ice cream one peach ice cream and it smells gorgeous it really just smell gorgeous so i got three um yes i am a big 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 candle fan but and it is a big but but i use my candles and i've got so much candle wax because i don't know if you know <laughs> i'm going to tell you anyway a candle burns down and it leaves that little bit at the bottom so what i do is i keep that little bit to the side and then it takes a while don't get me wrong you can't be making candles every week with excess candles unless you're going to do it with the actual proper stuff so all i do is just keep a little bag put all my candle wax that have been previously used and then one day I just decide that I'm going to go out and when I've got big enough bags of candle wax and I tell you what then you wouldn't realize how much you throw away candle wax and there's nothing wrong with it the only thing that I do with it is I had all the same colors together for starters and then I'll add a dark colour in it. So if I've got all cream, I'll add a blue or yellow. Um, so I'll probably show that in one of my videos when I eventually get around to doing it. And then I just put more scent into it. But obviously, if you've got the mixture of scents, so I have to do it over the scent that it comes in because it'll just a mixture. It's just not going to smell nice. So I do it till it smells how I would like it to smell. And it saves you a bomb. I before wax melts were invented, I was doing candles, and out of say a year's worth of candles that I burnt, I probably got about eight candles out of the excess that you throw away of this size candle. I got another eight of them out out of obviously tea lights the big tea lights that ikea do anything that's the wax melts because all i was doing with the wax melts was making more wax melts i just put more flavor into it flavor more scent into it is what i mean so that is them so then i also from ikea brought these are the four hour tea lights these smell just like Christmas and what I do is I just like two at a time to give it one room enough scent so it's only been in for four hours but it's eight hours of smell so and like I said my daughter moved she took one I've about used one now um, and I've got two left so I do and even with these if they've got a little bit in the bottom I'll save that candle wax as well so it sounds strange but I just that's just the way I am at. I am tight but I'm not tight because I'm still buying candles yeah I know what I'm trying to say so that was our cue done so we also went to TK Maxx and I found loads of really good makeup cheap makeup brushes sponges and i was like i can have that i love that i love that don't need them <laughs> really don't need them but i love them they're cheap and why not and so i was walking around and then we went upstairs to the candle section and i had a look there and i was like i'm not paying 10 quid for a little candle this big when you pay 175 for a candle this big and nice scents even when burnt the nice scents 
so i ummed and hard and then i saw this one and i sat on the floor in tk max with this and i'm going can i justify spending this amount of money on one candle and i sat there and i was like but you're willing to spend nearly 40 pound on brushes and sponges that you've actually got a drawer full and this is my top drawer just gonna grab a handful and these are brand new unopened brushes and these are just mainly face brushes and a couple of weird ones that i don't use that often and i was like do I need any more? I've got another drawer over there, partly full. It's like, no. And technically, I haven't got any candles because A, I've not, a, I've not been burning candles and B, I've run out. So, oh yeah, I have got tea lights. I've always got tea lights in. Um, but proper candles. So apart from these three, which is all I've got now, so it's like, pour them brushes back, I'm getting this. Now, this is from WW, I don't know who it is, who that is. Um, this was £30, reduced to £20, which is why I said it's a lot of money. And this is what, what it looks like. Doesn't quite go with the aesthetic of my bedroom, but... And then, when I opened it up, it's got the oh just open it it smells gorgeous it's got the oh it really is nice the ones that crackle now i've been wanting one of them for a long time and i know when you make your own you can actually buy the crackle stuff the sticks i brought them so when i do my candles i'll be using them but this is christmas cinnamon Oh, it just smells gorgeous. Now, like I said, I would never pay £20 for a candle. This is my first one I've ever, ever bought. Now, would I ever buy another one? I don't know until I've used this. But I've got to use this one first. Because I bought this quite a while ago, I'd, I tried to use it on the video that I did. And the tizzard didn't, it doesn't spray it doesn't give you a nice fine mist it just oh, that's nice it just stopped and i'm like this is like 12 pound 15 pound to waste i just kept it in its box and i thought well what i'll do is order it again i know i've paid out again but then i can take the broken one back because i'd lost the receipt so this way i still get my product and give them de the defaulted one from the shop that i brought it from so I'm not defaulting anybody i'm just being one of them ones where you don't realize that that's you know why you keep your receipts some things i do didn't do it this time so i ordered that and all together i spent 54 pound uh i will get 15 pound back or 12 pound back for that product because i'm going to take it back to the shop obviously and then i also got some gorgeous tops so i'm going to show you them now so guys this is the first top that i've got um this was from asda it had a stain here and you know off the floor and it was four pound because it's got the stain on i was like well if i take it home wash it because it's white as well i can bleach it if it doesn't come out came out first wash not worn it obviously i have to take tags off to wash it but yeah four pound for a nice little top i then got so these are the ones that i got from Do uh, debenhams with the spray so this one is from Dorothy Perkins and this one should have been 
20 pound and i paid 54 for this from this point on so this top which is really nice it sits nice on my belly the second one this was just like a t-shirt and i was like i'm sick of sweating i know we're going into a winter now but that white one i will wear in winter even though i bought it in summer this one is so soft it's got nice little ruched detail on the arm and i'm doing hard about it because it is a little bit tight and my daughter's like this is from dorothy perkins and this was 14 pound and she was like but mum if you think about it you've got your pyjama because obviously i've tested tops you just leave what you're on and i have pyjama bottoms on i think with a tight pair of trousers on this would just fit amazing and it's really nice and soft should have been 22 pound and it's a nice green it's got the ruffle over i'll still wear these in winter guys because of the way that i am this one is very similar um to that one and this was from principles and it was 22 pound the only thing is you have to have it sit like sat like this because when it, bun it bunches weird if you look it comes so but i was like it's really nice the fabric is gorgeous nice and soft so i bought myself some nice new clothes that is my clothing haul and we'll get on to the makeup so at the beginning i showed you the uh jacqueline hill highlighter palette now this is the one for dark skin and i did think to myself i'd get away with it but i don't think i will because it is it's darker than what i had presumed it to be so i don't know whether i'm going to take it back or whether i'm going to keep it i'm just not sure um but i might pick up the other one because i just thought this was really nice but it looks like in the photographs i don't know why because everybody has said this is for darker skin and i'm like now nah, i'll get away with it i can't but then morphe's got quite morphe's got a sale on it at the minute and i I've been getting bits and bobs here and there um i did out the last haul that we did um i got a few bits then so this time i've got the morphe fluidity the morphe fluidity concealer i have checked the shade i have checked the shade on this and it's a pretty pretty damn good match better match than a lot of the things that i've been picking up lately they also had the Morphe Illuminous setting spray so it's like it was half price and I'm like I might as well get it while I can everybody talks about Morphe and I want to try it so that's what I did and then I got the Jeffree Star concealer in the 5 one that went missing and I'll tell you what this took me forever to get out it's bigger than i imagined it to be a lot bigger it's really pretty it does look i've tested it on my hand and it looks like a really nice shade might be a little bit light but i'd rather have it light too light than extremely dark then i needed some more toothpaste no i didn't now here i've got about four toothpastes but basically i wanted the coffee and tea drinkers formula and uh, so i got one but it came with a new toothbrush and that was another thing it was on two pound so you can't go wrong with it and it's cold cake and it's decent whether or not you've noticed in videos but i'm not on the curly girl method before everybody goes you need to be using this sort of stuff and this washing my hair as normal 
and my hair is just curly as you've seen in previous videos if not there'll be a video that had been put up at some point of this or check out my channel and it will show you that my hair is curly so I've been out and bought some more of the Cantu so I got the Cantu natural hair wave whip curling mousse and then I got uh, these are the, all the same make and this is coconut oil shine and hold mist and then I've got the Define and Shine Custards. So I've heard about custards on Curly Girl Method. And I was like, I'll just give it a go. I think you are, this was on three for two as well. So it's just a nice big jar. When the ones, things are on three for go away. Go away. I've got a square above me head. Thank you. <laughs> because I have heard that you can use custard and I thought well I'll give that a go as well so that's that then I've also been and got this is the skin paradise tinted water cream and this is from L'Oreal so I got medium I've tried this on my arm and I'm orange so I'm gonna have to take this back yes I broke the seal but you know we, we can't go in shops and test things anymore so this will have to go back I also got a concealer from L'Oreal which is one of them tip brushes I don't know what color I am but well, we'll find out when I do the, the I might do a review on these um, and then I also got this gorgeous lip colour from L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayon And it's stunning, it really is a nice colour This is from L'Oreal, 3 for 2 I was like yes I'm going to grab them And then from Revolution um, I've brought the Super Dewy Skin Tint And This is a good shade for me, a very good shade for me. Then I brought the Super Dewy Skin Elixir. So that's what that looks like. And these are all new because I wanted to try some new stuff, not just old, old stuff. I know in a month's time all of this have gone down to half price. I know because it does. All the makeup does. Um, and then they've got this Super Balm. And I'm like, why? But I think it was on three for two on the new Super Dewey, on, on the new stuff. But it's multi-purpose balm. And it is a balm, guys. It literally is a balm. It comes out like that. It says you can use it on your lips, but it's just... And it's horribly sticky. It's disgusting. Um, so... No, I've also got one of the Revolution Blurring Balms, and then I was like, I looked up at my primes on, I've got three that are exactly the same, there's no difference. Um, it's in a nice little compact, so it's like the other ones that I've used, it's a bit like my Revlon that I use constantly, so that's that's 100% going back didn't even realize that that was what it was then I also got some of them cotton rounds that you can wash so I like using I won't be taking makeup off with these because I know makeup's just going to ruin them but when I've taken my makeup off and I want to use a toner that's what these are going to be for and it's got a nice little bag so and again it was three for two so the next thing that I brought was the Revolution Sugar Kiss Lip Scrub and I've been wanting a lip scrub for a while it's got a nice cute pair of lips on there it's even got a safety lid and it smells of 
It's like watermelon. It smells really nice. Obviously, these will be coming in now. Get ready with me. I'm trying these ones out. Um, the Aloe L stuff, I don't know what I'm going to do. That is the end of it. That's that's it. Guys, uh, that's all I brought. Oh, no, I actually brought some more brushes. But that will probably come in another haul because they're not in this property. So, when they come in this house, I store them to show you guys what I brought. And if there's anything you want to see first, then let me know. But I think I'll be coming with the Revolution one first. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And I know it's a bit random all over the place for Ikea. Super drug. Re revolution. But that's what I'm like. Bit of everything. Everything in moderation. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you watched it, the next video will be the revolution one so i will see you guys in the revolution one thanks so much for watching bye